Okay, we've given this uh, question where we're asked to use the trapezoidal rule to approximate the area under a curve y equals sine squared x on the domain 0 to a half. Now, I think the first thing that we can do to make, make it easier to understand this is actually derive the trapezoidal rule for n equals 4, and then we'll apply that to y equals sine of x squared. Now, I've drawn a trapezoid here. And what we're going to do, first of all, let's try and figure out how we're going to work out the area of this. Now, the area of this trapezoid normally would be this length here, add this length here, divided by 2, so we've got to find the average of those two lengths, and then we would just multiply it by the width. Now, when functions come into play, the length of this side, or in the case where I've drawn it over here, the length of one of these sides is going to be the function at a particular x value, in this case, xi. So to, to get the area of this, or to get the average of the two heights, we're going to add the function at the first x to the function at the second x and divide them by 2. So we'd have f of xi, add f of xi plus 1, divided by 2, and then what we would do is we would then multiply it by the changing width. Now, in this case, the changing width is going to be 0 to 5 divided into 4 different, 0 to 0 0.5 divided into 4 different sections. So, a half divided by 4. So, that's going to be a quarter. But what we're going to do first is we're going to standardize it so the start of our domain which we'll, we'll call this number we'll call that a and we'll call the other number b so this point is going to be b that number there is going to be a so divided by 4 because that's for n equals 4, because we have four different shapes. Okay, so if we take this down here, our area of the first shape would be f at 0, plus f of... Now, the first shape is going to be at x equals 1 8 divided by 2 times by the width which is still b minus a over 4 we're then going to add so that's the, going to be the area of that first shape we're then going to add the area of the second shape which would be the function at 1 8 plus the function at a quarter divided by 2 times by the same width which is just going to be the end of the domain minus the start of the domain divided by the number of rectangles And then we're just going to find the area of the third one, which will be the function at a quarter, plus the function at three eighths, divided by two, 
times the width, which is going to be B minus, again, B minus A on 4. And then finally, the last rectangle, add the function at 3 eighths plus the function at a half. divided by 2 times the width, which B minus A divided by 4. Okay, now, so that's our area, the approximation. Now, that's all well and good, but it doesn't really um, help us at the moment because it's, it is quite quite convoluted, but what we can do is we can simplify this and so we can get a nice, clean looking formula which we will be then be able to sub in this formula to calculate our area approximation. So first of all, it should be pretty obvious that we can factorize by B minus A divided by four, as well as the two as well. So a half times that because everything is divided by a half, uh, but divided by two, and everything is multiplied by this. So, what we'll be able to do is we'll, if when we're simplifying this area approximation, we'll be able to factorize to start with with b minus a on four times a half. So that's going to be b minus a over. 8. Now, once we've done that, what we're going to have is we're going to have the function at 0 plus the function at an eighth plus the function at an eighth. plus the function at a quarter plus the function at a quarter plus the function now I'm doing this at quite a long window way but I'm doing it so you can see where the the actual trapezoidal sort of standard form is derived from. Okay, so you can see that this is starting to look a lot cleaner than what we have up the top. But we can go one step further because you can see we've got two of the eighths, two of the quarters, and two of the three eighths. So we can then finish this up by saying the area can be approximated by b minus a over 8 multiplied by the function at 0 add two times the function at an eighth, add two times the function at a quarter, add two times the function at three eighths, add the function at one half. Now you can see that you've got the end point of your domain, the beginning point of your domain, divided by two times the number of rectangles or trapezoids that you have. And when we multiply this, we have the function at the beginning and end point of the domain plus two times the function at every x increment across that domain. Now, what we can then do is we can literally just use that to approximate the area. So, I'm going to try and, I'll change color and try and squeeze it in over here. 
So we know that the function at zero is equal to zero. We know that the function at an eighth or two times the function at an eighth is equal to two sine now x squared, the eighth squared is going to be one over sixty-four, and that's going to be equal to zero point zero three one two. We have two times the function at one quarter. which is equal to 2 to sine quarter squared is a sixteenth. And that's going to be equal to 0 0.1249. We have sine at 3 eighths, so we're going to have the 2 times the function at 3 over 8 is equal to 2 sine of 9 over 64 which is equal to 0 0.2803 And then we have at the end, we have just the function, we only need to do one of these, of one half. Which is equal to the sine of a quarter. Which is equal to 0 0.2474. Okay, so what then we have to do according to our derivation down here is we have to add all of these together and multiply by b minus a divided by 8. So we're going to go, so the area is approximately going to be equal to b, which is 0 0.5 minus 0 divided by 8, multiplied by 0 0.312, add 0 0.1249, add 0 0.2803, Last one, add 0 0.2474. And what that, and then you can say therefore, according to the trapezoidal rule, the area can be, is approximately equal to 0 0.0427. units squared. Okay, so that's using the trapezoidal rule to approximate the area under the curve of that function over the domain of that by first deriving the trapezoidal rule for n equals 4 and then substituting in our values. I hope that helps.